Pete here from Out of the P Play. Today I'll be uh, reviewing the game Grip on the PC. This uh, follows on from Alan's first solo venture where he um, rather awesomely uh, talked us through the first Fallout 4 DLC, which you shouldn't be able to see at the following link. That's the wrong link. That's the wrong link. Can we sack? Can we? racing game which uh, follows very closely to the 90s futuristic race up the roll cage the similarities are very clear but this game is in early access so it lacks a lot of content at the moment there are only uh, three tracks and two vehicles the game was bought for me by my good friend Justin over at sherardgaming.com the link should be at the bottom of the screen now have we got this right? have we got this right? No. We're good. I haven't got a second The game costs £12 or uh, $16, depending on your country, and uh, what do you get for your money? Well, so far you get a single race, a time trial, and something called the Arena Mode, which is uh, very similar to the Destruction Derby Deathmatch style mode, which is the last car standing sort of thing. But the uh, the racing is, is really where it's at. You get uh, split screen multiplayer at the moment, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, online is apparently coming, which is a necessity for this sort of game. During races, you get a variety of weapons pickups, which, uh, when you hit your opponent, look really, really cool. Uh, the problem is, you do get a shield when you're out in first place, which uh, protects you against upcoming missiles. But they last from uh, the moment you activate them until the moment something hits it. So that needs uh, addressing, I think. As you probably noticed in the video by now, I've spent a fair amount of time in first place, which um, uh, I'm not the best game at going. Uh, as you've probably seen if you've watched a few of my other videos uh, I put the game on hard difficulty more or less from the get-go because I did try it on medium and dominated the race winning with more than a minute to spare and even with the hardest difficulty on this which is the hardest track uh, I won comfortably on the second attempt uh, the only reason I lost the first attempt was because I got blown up but once I figured out that uh, shields were permanent I had no difficulty finishing first Graphics, as you can see, look look good. It's a bit dull, but that's just the track, really. Like I say, when more come, uh, this should improve dramatically. The cars handle uh, handling's a bit fiddly, but uh, the developers say that you can adjust your uh, flight in midair, which uh, frankly you can't, or if you can, I haven't quite figured out how yet. Yeah, other than that, difficult is too easy. Uh, and there's not a lot for your money, but this is definitely one to watch for the future, particularly when online multiplayer comes in, uh, and when there are more tracks, more cars, and, and basically more to do. Uh, there's already uh, the option on the main screen to access a, a career mode, which uh, hopefully will be the next big update. The developers tend to update the game about once a month from what I can tell, so um, it is a case at the moment of watch this space. The price will increase as uh, as the game content is added so now is a fairly good time to buy it at 12 pounds or 16 dollars but again you don't get much for your money but it's probably an idea if you are interested in this game to buy it now uh, at a reasonable price for when content is better so the choice is yours but it's it's worth buying i think definitely thanks for watching guys Please be sure to uh, like this video and uh, obviously have your say at the comments box uh, on our YouTube page uh, and uh, subscribe for more all things other than Pete Play.